What's up everyone, this is Chris Goat, and today we're back with another video. Today I'm going to talk about one of the easiest programs that you can use to get started in crypto trading. So eventually you'll want to upgrade to something that's a little more technical and has more information. But for beginners, the less information is better. Because in my opinion, the less overwhelmed that you're going to get, the more that you're going to be to learn things and kind of not be intimidated to go into it. So the program I'm going to talk about that I personally use is called Coinbase. Coinbase has been around for a while, has had some flack, but I personally have not had any major issues with it, so this is why I still choose to use it. There's multiple reasons for this, and I'll get into those here in just a few minutes. So, the first thing we're going to look at is my portfolio price in real time, and that's discussed by this graph here. So, as you can see, there's going to be points where there was buys, some sells, some price drops, and so on and so forth. This is over this last month. So over the last 24 hours, I have done uh, one conversion right here. So other than that, this is all fairly natural market uh, activity. And this is going to follow Dow Jones pretty closely, which any crypto is going to anymore. So as you can see, since we've been watching, I've actually have gone up just a little bit in value. This is 60275 when we started. So that's going to jump up and down quite a bit. Uh, nothing to get too excited about. So I'm not going to get into my investment. Um, strategy but as you can see with the amount that I do have in my portfolio I'm obviously not investing for the stars so I'm really just kind of getting involved in crypto myself trying to figure out how it works and what's going to benefit me what companies are going to do well and which ones aren't so one of the first things that I'm going to recommend about Coinbase is the fact it's very easy to navigate and there's not too many more assets that you have to get confused by so what you see right here on the watch list is, is effectively all the currencies that you're able to purchase on the Coinbase app. And they don't offer every single crypto, which I personally appreciate because that's going to confuse people. There's going to be so many that they're not going to be able to research them all and understand how it all works. So this is 23 different currencies that is offered by Coinbase. Bitcoin obviously being one of the most well-known, the first one. Ethereum, very well known. Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin. So this this shows you all the coins that are that are available to trade. And trading is very simple. Um, I'm going to show you that here in just one second. So to see what I'm invested in, we go from home to portfolio. I do have some rewards right here that are being earned. Um, and this is Tezos, which is XTZ. And they have a st uh, baking is what they call it. So basically, once you buy coins and you have some, then you will stake them for at least a month, and then you'll start earning uh, interest off of that. And it's at 4.9% if you're using Coinbase. So that's what this active little ticker here is. And that's one of those, you buy and you forget about it, it's no big deal. So underneath this tab here, it will show you my assets, or if you're looking, your assets. And then it's going to show you how much you own so we will go with we'll go with Bitcoin because that's probably one that people are very familiar with this is how many Bitcoin that I have which is only hundred and six dollars worth so I do not have anywhere near to the full one so 17.69 percent of my profile at this particular point in time is in Bitcoin so we go up to one of my personal favorites which is Stellar Lumens XLM I have 1,766 point 527XLM, 20% 20 of my portfolio, and it's worth $120.74 as of right this second. So it's a very, very easy graph to understand when it comes to your portfolio and see how many of what you have, what the current price is, what percentage of your portfolio it is, and if you have this pulled up, it will update in, in real time. So again, I don't have any of these down here. I'll say highlight everything. From ox down, <clears throat> I do not own any of these, so that's why it's all zero and not that. But as soon as we go dash up, I'm diddling in all of Tezos to dash. Well, all of these I have some currency to some extent in. So we keep going over the prices. This is just very general um, outlook for the market. It's going to show you what the percentage change is, what the market cap is. Um, what the current price per coin is, and again, that's going to update live, and that's all the coins it's offered. 
So trading, selling, and buying is super, super, super simple. Let's see. No, I don't want to use this. Um, so let's say that you have one coin that you want to turn into another. So I'm going to go ahead for argument's sake, and I'm going to transfer my Ethereum Classic to Bitcoin. Ethereum Classic has not done the hottest here lately. Peak around, it's been closer to 580. So it's it's close to where it's been, but it's not not where I want it to be. And as you can see, the trend is mostly sell. So what I'm going to do, just for argument's sake, is I'm going to convert. So once you pull up your wallet, or well, you can go to your wallet and it'll show you different transactions that you've had. And this is also where you can get your uh, send and receive codes for your wallet. Go to overview. Go to convert. I want to convert all of my Ethereum to Bitcoin. So it's going to come up with an order preview here. Shows you how much one Ethereum Classic is going to be, how much Bitcoin it's worth. So I'm going to trade $29.96 worth into Bitcoin. And then that's my current balance. It's going to be transferred over. So you just start convert now. A couple bouncy balls. It's going to load for just a second. And it's fairly instantaneous. You do your transaction if you'd like. And then it shows you using my wallet, I had converted it on the first into, or actually converted it here shortly. If I go over to the Coinbase, to the, excuse me, the Bitcoin profile, it's going to show that it was uh, added and that it was converted as well. So also one thing that I wanted to get into once we get to here is chain, or, uh, Coinbase is going to offer you a free wallet for your cryptos. So if I go to trade or if I want to buy something, or if I want to have something sent to me, I have to go to my wallet. And you have to have at least a dollar, I think, for the most part, to set up a wallet if you're going to be doing trading. So, like, as soon as you buy crypto, your wallet's automatically generated for you. And that's with every single one of those cryptos. So each one of those wallets is going to come with two addresses. It's going to come with a send, and it's going to come with a receive. So if I want to receive Bitcoin... I'm going to hit this right here, and I can either have somebody scan the code, I can copy it, uh, I can paste it, share it, wherever, and then people are able to send this right here. They can go into the send tab right here, put this address, and however much Bitcoin that they want to send will come straight to my wallet and join my balance here. So if we go back to the portfolio, we can see now that my Bitcoin has already updated. So it went from 105 to 106 here just a little bit ago when we first started. So now it's 22% of my portfolio. And we can go in and it'll show, yep, right here. So July 1st shows I have 0 0.0031 Bitcoin converted from my ETC wallet. So this will keep track of all your transactions, what you've done, how much you've spent, sent, so on and so forth. So you can always keep track of what's going on. So you kind of have a copy of your own. Um, piece of the ledger on the website as well. There's also the option for a vault. Now, I do not have a vault currently for Bitcoin or for any other of my currencies, but basically what that's going to do, it's just going to allow you to tuck away some crypto for a long period of time that you don't plan on messing with for, let's say, six months, nine months, a year, however long. You want to see how things do, how well the uh, market does, the prices go. That's going to be what a vault's for. I haven't got that involved with it. I just kind of got the main account and go from there. So, 60144 still. So, it's going up a little bit. Like I said, I don't sit here and watch it because you're, you're going to give yourself anxiety if you do. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. I personally am looking for the long term. I'm not a short term investor by any means. I don't know how the market works enough for it. Plus, I'm still learning everything as I go. Um... So I'm, I'm just looking for most of the main projects that I see value in is what I've invested more into. That's all I'm going to say. Again, none of this is investment advice. Please do your own research. It's your money. It's not mine. I could care less, you know, what you spend it on or what you invest it in. But you do care. So you need to make sure that you're doing wise things. Um, the last thing I do want to talk about, why I do recommend Coinbase 
other than everything else I've mentioned. One of the most important things is you do get rewarded, and you can get rewarded for referring people. So one thing I do want to show right here now is I have not earned anything in rewards whatsoever. So this is not a platform for me to make money. I have not. But with that being said, if you do not have a cryptocurrency trading platform yet, there will be a link in the description that you can click on. Now, once you buy or sell $100 worth of any cryptocurrency, so let's say you have a minimum of $100 that you want to buy some crypto and see how it goes. As long as you use my invite code for Coinbase, they will send you $10 in Bitcoin for free. Now, the catch is, after you do the first 100 and they send you $10, they will send me $10. But nobody has done that. I have $0 pending, $0 earned for referral codes because I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not going to use a platform to benefit myself. With that being said, if you are going to use a platform, you might as well get a little bit of a benefit too, which is going to be, you know, let's say 10 free dollars. In a couple of years, if Bitcoin surges again, that very well could be worth more. So, you know, at that point, it's kind of a smart investment. Go ahead and just say, why not? So another thing that it does on offering rewards, because there is a balance up here of $35, that has nothing to do with anybody. That has to do with things that I've done. So you can actually go into these cryptocurrencies once you have Coinbase and you can apply to earn rewards. So what you do is you go into these individual companies and programs and you click on and watch these videos and then you answer a question so they know that you've actually done it. Once you've done that, you can earn up to 40 or however much the designated price is, like it's only $6 down here um, but you can earn that much worth of currency in that crypto and that's just basically a reward for for them getting people to read about watch and learn what their protocols are so it's a really good way to actually go in and learn about some of the coins that you're seeing if you don't know anything about crypto whatsoever and you're going to get a small reward off the top so all you have to do is invest just a small bit of time and they're going to send you some crypto it's not worth a whole lot However, $30 to $40 worth of any crypto is not a bad, not a bad thing. And that's what you are going to be earning once you go to Orchid, Orchid, I don't know how to spell or pronunciate anything, I'm from the Midwest, and Stellar. And then the smaller one is going to be Tezos at $6, and I think it was $6 for Compound as well. Um, <clears throat> Coinbase is getting better. They are... Finally starting to add more coins since I've started using it on a more frequent basis. Um, but they have strict standards on, on what coins they want to offer. Um, one thing you've probably noticed, I got involved with the XYO coin app, which turned out to be garbage. Um, so I am actually watching XYO on here and have been to kind of see what the market uh, activity was. And here's the all-time. It's just funky horrible um but anyway going back to where we were with it even though i'm watching it because you can look it up and you can monitor everything i am not able to actually buy it because it is not a supported crypto because it does not meet the criteria all these other ones here you'll see the blue trade symbol so that means i can convert them sell them buy them at my discretion with just a click of a button as we saw earlier however with this one you will not be able to. So if you want access to absolutely every single cryptocurrency, Coinbase may not be best for you. However, if you're like me and were like me about a month ago when I started all this, you want something that's fairly easy to understand and not overwhelming. So I'd say under 30 coins worth of purchase or under 30 coins to choose from, that's not going to be overwhelming. You can look all those up in an afternoon and get an idea for what company is going to be the best investment for you and where you expect your portfolio to go in the future. So again, thank you guys so much for checking this out. It's always good to talk to you. Always good to kind of go through and get excited. So I will post this link in the description if you want to join Coinbase. Then again, it's going to be free. But whenever you spend that initial $100, they're going to send you $10 in Bitcoin. If you're going to buy Bitcoin anyway, adds a little bit to it. You can always convert it into another crypto that you're curious about. It's free, and I haven't earned any, so let's both make a little bit of money. I don't see a reason why not. Well, all right, guys, this pretty much sums up the Coinbase video. Um, 
Can't really go into too many more details on it. You're going to get a free wallet every time that you purchase crypto. So you'll be able to send and receive it um, through cryptocurrency casinos, marketplaces, um, trading with friends. However you plan to use crypto, you'll be able to use a wallet automatically with every single crypto that you do have with Coinbase. It's a secure wallet. I've had no breaches or issues, so I trust it fairly well, which is one of the main reasons why I recommend going through it just because it's free for pretty much anything that you're interested in.